Hey, what's going on? Levi here, and in today's video, we are going to be making a very similar video to the one that I made a while back entitled Taking an IQ Test, except for the fact that there's not going to be any intelligence readings or measurements whatsoever. Because, let's face it, uh, most of you probably could have guessed that I wasn't that smart anyway. So, yeah, today what we're actually going to be doing is taking a personality test. Now, we're going to be using 16personalities.com, I believe that is the name of the website, and I googled for personality tests, and this was one of the ones that was right at the top of that list, so I assume that this is a pretty accurate, pretty reliable uh, personality website to use. One thing that I'm going to just confess up front is that I am going to try to answer all of these questions on this website honestly and to the best of my ability so that I can get the best results because even personally I'd like to know which of the 16 personalities it'll say I am and you know we're gonna get all get into all that in a minute so yeah when you're done with taking the test it actually is gonna give you their 16 personalities that it says on the website which are listed and it at the end of that test it's gonna give you one of them personalities that it says you are and it's gonna kinda have results it's gonna accurately describe you so let's just jump right into it and we're gonna start off with looking at some of the 16 personalities the site has listed okay so here we are at the 16 personalities website um, you know we can see some tabs the four tabs right at the top you can take the test but for right now like I said we're gonna go to the personality types now here are the 16 personalities right here and like I said earlier, um, one of these 16 personalities based on your answers from the questionnaire, it's going to give you one of these 16 personalities that best describes you based off the answers it gave you from the questionnaire. So it even looks like they're even broke up into like little categories right here, the analysts, diplomats, you know, explorers, you can see all that right there. So yeah, here are the 16, um, 16 personality types. And, you know, we have a, quite a variety, looks like, architect, the, you know, commander, debater, and I'm just, as I'm reading through um, some of these personality types, I'm, I'm actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, uh, take a prediction on which one I think I will get because I don't know what it will generate for me, but I can, I can take a guess on which one I think I was. So I'm just reading through some of these now, you know, executive, defender, you know, I'm, I'm reading the little bios down here. Um, like, you know, we have like for the architect, the imaginative and strategic thinkers with a plan for everything for the, you know, commander. I don't think I'd be that bold, imaginative and strong willed leaders, maybe to some degree. Debater, smart and curious thinkers, definitely not that one. Advocate, um, quiet and mystical, yet very inspiring. No, not really. Protagonist. Now, see, I, th I thought the protagonist was a bad thing. What is the protagonist? Charismatic and inspiring leaders. Interesting. Okay, so if I had to pick one, and I'm just going to take a guess, I'd, my, my guess would be that I'm going to fall under the explorers category, and I think, I honestly think that I'm going to either get the entrepreneur or the entertainer. That would be my guess. If I had to pick one, I'd have to say I'm going to go with the entrepreneur. I think that I will, if I had to pick myself, I think it would be the entrepreneur. So that's my guess. But with that being said, let's see if I'm a psychopath and take the test. And there's actually, there actually was no, that would, that would have been funny if they, just, they would have just had one under the personality types that just said crazy or like psychopath or something like that. But so let's do this. All right, starting with question one. You find it difficult to introduce yourself to other people. Okay, so unless I'm purposely not trying to introduce myself to other people, I would have to disagree, um, disagree with that because unless I'm trying to not introduce myself to you or trying to avoid you in some way, I don't really have that issue. No. Um, you often get so lost in your thoughts that you ignore or forget your surroundings. Um, no, not really. I mean, shoot, I don't know what the hell I'd be thinking about so important that I forget about every, all my surroundings. Boy, I hope that doesn't happen to people while they're driving. Um, you try to respond to your emails as soon as possible and cannot stand a messy inbox. Now, it depends. If I'm getting like a business inquiry, yes, I try to e email that person back as soon as I can. 100% um, 
Um, I try to at least, you know, as quick as I can. But I don't really care about a messy inbox. So you try to respond to your emails as soon as possible and cannot stand a messy. Okay, so I'm going to have to somewhat agree with that because while I like to get back to people pretty quick, I don't really care about a messy inbox. In fact, you can even see, I don't know if you can see it on my iPod. I'll put it up to the screen um, for my mail icon. You can see, and I don't know if it'll, hopefully it'll, you can see that I have 40,000 uh, 204 emails that I have not opened. So yeah, I don't really care about a uh, messy inbox, but I do try to get back to people. Um, you find it easy to stay relaxed even when there is some pressure. Okay, this is an interesting question. Um, if there is pressure, I can stay relaxed. And like most definitely I can stay relaxed. That's not a problem. Um, what I will say is that like if, if definitely, if I'm not even part of the pressure, if like there's something going on, but it doesn't really in, in, involve me, oh yeah, I can, I can stay calm. But uh, you find it easy to stay relaxed even when there is some pressure. Yeah, I'd have to say yes, because like even like with working fast food in the past, like and, and, and like even with like working at the drive through and it's something, you know, working fast food and in some place gets slammed, you kind of have got, you know, I kind of know how to just take a breath and say, okay, just take it easy. You know, I don't think, I don't, I don't really think I'm too bad with that. I, th I think I can relax myself. So that, I'm going to have to say I somewhat agree with that. You do not usually initiate conversations. If well, that that's another one that depends because it depends on who I'm talking to. Um, if it's um, someone that I really need to be talking to, someone I'd like to be talking to, then yeah, I'm gonna initiate a conversation. If it's a close friend or if it's um, you know somebody that I would like to carry on a conversation with. then I'm going to initiate a conversation, of course. So you do not usually initiate conversation. I don't have to say that's mostly false because I, I will initiate a conversation if I have to. You know, if there's something important I need to tell someone, I will most certainly have no fear of going up to someone and talking to them. I would have no problem with doing that at all. So I'm going to have to say I mostly disagree with that. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't mind talking to people and I don't mind initiating a conversation whatsoever. So mostly disagree with that one. You rarely do something just out of sheer curiosity. So I rarely do something out of sheer curiosity. No, that's, I, I disagree with that. You know, I got to think about these questions a little bit of, as I read them, but I'm going to have to disagree with that. Yeah, I'm going to have to disagree because I, I will, I will do things out of pure curiosity. I, I, I am totally the type of person that gets an idea in his head and then um, has to go try it out. So I'm going to have to disagree with that because I will, if I start thinking about something or like, even if I'm thinking about, um, if I need to go buy something or if I get something stuck on my mind, I have to like ease that. I have to ease that mentally. So I, I will try it. I will, you know, play with things and, you know, I will, I will try things out of curiosity. Most definitely. Just have that brain. You feel so, whoa, getting into the, <laughs> getting into the loaded gun questions. I see. you feel superior to other people. Um, I feel like in everyone's life, there are some aspects that people feel superior, like, you know, superior in other, in, in some ways, you know what I mean? I feel like there are, there are sometimes people definitely feel superior in, in, in certain ways. Not, I'm not talking about in general, like you're like someone's life is more important than, than yours or like something like that. But what, what I'm going to say by that is like, you know, certain talents and, and whatnot. So, but if it's asking me, you know, I'm just giving like a general, how, what I think about the world right there. But if it's talking about me, you feel superior to other people. I'm going to have to say, yeah, I'm going to have to disagree. I don't, I don't think that at all. And, that, and if you do think that it's kind of a, not a good way to live because you'll find out that you're not. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to I disagree with that. I'm going to have to, no, I'm going to have to say com completely disagree with that. All right. I don't, I don't think I'm superior to anyone. I think there are things that I can do better than some people. And there are other things that I can, that I'm way worse at than other people. So the, the kind, you know, the, the idea of like even an alpha, like the alpha male, like the alpha person, that's kind of, kind of a whack thing to think because we all have different strengths, different weaknesses. So being organized is more important to you than being adaptable. Adaptable. No, disagree. You have to be, no, 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 I, I disagree. You, you can be organized and that's okay, but you got to be adaptable. Period. Got to be adaptable. Yeah, adaptable. Remember that. Organized, that's just, that's a whatever thing. Be, being, if you can be adaptable, that's an important thing. You are usually m highly motivated and energetic. That one is like right in the middle. 
yeah, that's right in the middle. It depends. That's something that depends. If it's like, you know, <laughs> going to art class or some BS like that, no, I'm not going to be too motivated about that. Or if it's like going to math class or, you know, go, go take like a walk in the park or something, doing something that's boring. No, I'm obviously not going to be too motivated and energetic. But if it's something that I like to do, something that I actually you know, have fun with, then, you know, of course I'm going to be motivated and energetic. I think that's a pretty awkward question. I think like if you like to do something, you're going to be more motivated and energetic to do it than someone else who doesn't have that same interest as you. But with that being said, I'm going to have to leave that one right in the middle because honestly, I just think that's kind of a weird question. Um, winning a debate matters less to you than making sure. Mm, disagree. Ah, no, nah, I disagree on that one. I'm not going to say I fully disagree, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't make anyone upset. But if I, if I believe something and like, I'm, I'm like really open-minded, like I like to think I'm at least somewhat open-minded, you know, I, I, I just like, I would like to think I, I believe like things that are correct. You know what I mean? I, I feel like most people, and I'm just being honest with myself. I think most people, that's what most people would choose. They would disagree because most people, you know, they want to get their point across. They want to make you, they want to be right. You know, everyone wants to be right. So, but Hey, this is a personal test and I'm going to say, I disagree. I, I can't cause in America and especially like in America, you know, you, you have that right to freedom of speech. And you know, if, if someone gets upset, you know, it's not, it's not your problem. So that's kind of what I think about that. You know, if you're, if you're, if someone's being upset by what you're telling them, maybe they shouldn't be in that conversation because you have the right to say, as long as it's not anything like really offensive or something that's like out of control or something that is kind of ridiculous. So you often feel as if you have to justify yourself to other people. No, no, no. If you don't agree with me or whatever, that's, that's, I look at that as that's your problem. No, no, I will never justify myself. You either get me or you don't. Your home and work environments are quite Tidy. Nah, my work environment. If I no, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would. I'd say so. I, I like clean things. I'm not overly organized or overly messy, but I'm like right in the middle. You do not mind being at the. You do not mind being the center of attention. No, I don't mind that at all. Agree, hundred percent. I could be the center of attention, and I'd be totally fine with that. Honestly, I mean, not that I have to be, but if I, if I was, I think that's what that question is asking. If you were the center of attention, how do you feel? And I could, I could care less. I'm fine with that. Um, cause I know I'd probably do the right thing or, you know what I mean? I, I feel like I have enough sense to, you know, not do anything stupid, not lead anyone in a poor direction. So you consider yourself more practical than creative. I don't even know what practical means, honestly. So I, I'm going to have to disagree with that. Cause I, I, I'd say I'm more creative than practical. People can rarely, oh yes, people can rarely upset you. Is there like a million times disagree? Like, I wish it was like all the way, like I wish disagree like was all the way over here. I wish they had like that many, but they had like 15 bubbles. I'd pick the one all the way at the end. Yeah, you can't upset me if you do. Um, man, good job because I, you can't upset me. Like I could care less. That's a really tough thing to do. Because like I like I, I don't know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get upset over someone's opinion like it, you know what I mean if someone has an opinion and I if I were to disagree I could care I would have a rational discussion I'd be you can't you can't upset me I don't I don't get upset too much um, your travel plans are usually well thought out <sighs> never never I just go with the flow it's often difficult for you to relate to other people's feelings yeah yes agree I'm gonna have to say a hundred percent agree can't relate. I don't know how anyone can relate unless you're that person. How are you going to relate to someone's feelings when you're not that person? So agree. Yeah. hundred percent. I, you can't, how are you? I mean, you can, you can think you're relating or whatever, but come on now. Nah, agree. It's hard to relate to someone else's feelings. Your mood can change very quickly. Yeah. Can't anyone's, can't anyone's mood change quickly? Like, like if you're at a picnic and it's a beautiful sunny day and then all of a sudden, boom, starts storming, I'm, I imagine your mood's going to change. You're going to go from happy to pretty upset real quick. So, 
another weird question. As in a discussion, truth should be more important than people's, yes, I agree with that. Truth is one, the number one priority. Your feelings are not. Truth is number one. Feelings? Number 10, 15, 20, who cares about them? Truth is important. I think truth is important. You rarely worry about how your actions yeah, I'm gonna say agree because, and then that's not, I don't know, this sounds, this sounds like bad, but I'm being honest. Like I, I, I care about like how, if I'm, if I'm doing something that's affecting someone, I would care, but I don't do things. Like if I'm going to do something that you don't like it, 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 I'd like to think that I'm doing it for, for the, the better. You know what I mean? I like to think I'm doing it for a purpose. Like you may not like it. If I was ever in a scenario like that, I would think that whatever I'm doing, I'm doing it for the right reasons, regardless of, you know, what someone else thinks. And I wouldn't, I don't do anything bad is what I'm saying. So I would hope, hopefully that, you know what I mean? That's, that's kind of my justification of that answer. Your work style is closer to random energy spikes than to a methodical and organized approach. Okay, don't know what that means, disagree. You're often envious of others. Um, It depends, obviously. I don't really get too upset. I, I don't, I don't, no, I don't envy anyone, but sometimes if I would like see someone that something, it's like if I'll see something that somebody did and I'll just wonder to myself, man, I wonder how it was they did that and I'll get that idea in my mind. So that's why I'm in the middle because like I want to study that person, but I won't like be envious, but I will want to study. It's important to study success. That's my little tip. <laughs> An interesting book or video game is often better than a social. Um, no, a social event beats a book or a game or a movie or any type of media. Come on now. Dumb question. Being able to develop a plan and stick to it is the most important. It, it is, it is an important thing. Sticking to a plan, having a plan and sticking to it is important, but it's not what I do. But do I think it's important? Yeah, so uh, agree. Okay, you rarely get carried away by fantasies and ideas. Yeah, agree. You often find yourself lost in thought when you are walking in nature. First of all, I don't walk in nature. So, um, yeah, disagree. Walking, what does it mean by walk in nature? How about like walk down the street? We all do that. Walk in nature. Weird. Is If someone does not respond to your email quickly, you start worrying if you said something wrong. No, I could care less. I like, what if I send an email, you, you I like be like, have, I'm, I'd be like on the grammarly type of thing. I'd be like making sure all my words are spelled correctly. You know, I don't overwhelm myself with it, but I like to, you know, if, 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 if they're not responding to an email, then they're just not interested in whatever we're talking about. End of story. Um, as a parent, you would rather see your child grow up kind than smart. Agree. Don't need an explanation on that one. You do not let other people influence your actions. Uh, agree. 100%. And I could even get into a story about that, but we're not going to get into a story. We're just going to take the test. When you sleep, your dreams tend to focus on real world and its events. Yes. I hardly dream about like fake stuff like flying. Like everyone, people are like, oh, I had a dream I was flying. Oh, good for you. I had a dream about the stock market. Um, so yeah, I, I dream about more realistic things, but I hardly dream anyway. But if I do dream, I'm gonna dream about something that's real, um, you know, re real life things, n n nothing, nothing fantasy. If it does not take you much time to get involved in social activities, oh yeah, I agree. I can, I can go to a workplace and fit, fit in. Like even like I'm the youngest where I work, or whatever the radio station where I'm at right now. It's, I can get involved in social activity. I have no problem with that. I'm the youngest there and it's, that doesn't seem to be a problem. You are more of a natural improviser than a careful, yes, agree. I am a better improviser than a careful planner and you can ask my college professors. They'll back me up on that statement. I'm a pretty good improviser. Not that they would know I was improvising, so maybe you shouldn't ask them. Um, your emotions control you more than you control them. No, my emotions do not control me. I am uh, fully aware that an emotion is a non-existing thing that we have in our brains. Like We have emotions. I'm not saying they don't exist, but I can control mine. Yeah. <laughs> Sassy. Um, you enjoy getting, going to social events that involve dress up or, uh, no, I don't, no, I'm not. Now, a lot of people do. 
I don't. I don't really like, I don't like face paint. I don't like anything. Like, I'll dress up a little bit, but not too extreme. Some people really love all that and props to them, man, because it is cool. It is neat. But man, I'm just, it's just not really my thing. You often spend time exploring unrealistic and impractical, yet, no. You would rather improvise and spend time, oh, yes. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll get an idea. I'll plan maybe this much, then I'll improvise. I don't just go cold a lot of times. I don't like to just go cold, but I would have to mostly agree with that that I would rather improvise and spend time coming up with a detailed plan and then, you know, you get there and... Because a, a plan, like, what, what's a plan worth? You know what I mean? If your plan, your plan could fall through and then you'd have to impro improvise anyway. That's the way I look at it. So you might as well improvise and be good at improvising because the majority of your life will be improvised. Um, you are relatively reserved and... No. <laughs> if you had a business, you would find it very difficult to fire loyal, but... No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't because if I had somebody who, wait a minute, no. If you had a business, you would find it very difficult to fire loyal. Now, the way I look at it is um, you may be a good person, but if you're bringing a company down, I don't know what to tell you. So you often contemplate the reasons for human existence. Uh, no, 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 who the hell knows why we're here? I have no idea. Um, logic is usually more important than heart when it makes to come. Yes, yes. Sometimes tough decisions have to be made out of love. And you, you, like I said, I think, you know, that's what I agree with. Sometimes you may not, you know what I mean? There have been a lot of decisions in life where I'm sure you could look back on that you didn't like at the time, but were good in the long run. So I'm going to have to agree with that. Keeping your options open is more important than having a to-do list. I, I think to do this, I have a to-do list. Like, not, not really a to-do list, but like I have like a little list of things on my computer that I like to make sure I get done or buy or, you know, squirt away. So I, I have a to-do. I think to-do lists are pretty pretty important. They help me pretty good. And planners are pretty good, too. If, if you use planners, those are pretty good. But I haven't used one in a while. If your friend is sad about something, you are more likely to offer emotional support than suggest ways to de deal with the problem. No, I would not. Uh, no, disagree. Disagree. I'm going to we're going to deal with the problem. If you if you have a problem, we're going to deal with the problem. I'm not going to, you know, dance around the problem. We're not going to do that. We're going to I think because it's it, like I said, long run, you know, it, it may not what they be what they want at the time. But hey, it's going to be important because you want to get them help and you want to solve the problem. Right. Not dance around it. You rarely feel insecure. Uh, yeah, I don't feel insecure. I'm not insecure. I'm not insecure. Whoa, look at my eye. Whoa. Look at this face, wow. I, I came up to the camera to just show that I, I'm not insecure about anything, but then I started looking at, that's great. Oh, back to the test, getting off key here. You have no difficulties coming up with a personal timetable and stick. What does that mean? Um, what does that mean? I don't even care about that question. Being right is more important than being cooperative. Eh, you gotta cooperate. If you have a team, you gotta cooperate with them. If you start being an idiot, then it's going to make things worse. So you may be right, but then your whole team hates you and then you're not getting anything done because then it's like a war. So I would have to disagree with that. You got to get along with your teammates and that's life. Um, you think that everyone's views should be respected regardless. Within moderation. It, within moderation. You, you can't believe something that's completely radical and just expect everyone to go along with it. You know what I mean? You can't say the sky is yellow and you go around and you spread propaganda your whole life saying the sky is a dark shade of yellow and just never have somebody correct you on that. But if it's like small stuff like, hey, I like hot dogs. Well, no, I, hot dogs are terrible. You should never eat hot dogs. Stuff like that. It's mediocre. Doesn't mean anything. So, yeah. Everyone's view should be respected. That's what I'm going to say. As long as they're, you know, in reason. You feel more energetic after spending time with a group of people. I guess. Be more energetic than, I guess, laying in bed all day. I would assume. You frequently misplace your things. Yes. Yes. 
Yes, I misplace my phone 15 times a day. I misplace my car keys 10 times a day. Man, I could, I could lose a car, for real. I could lose anything. I always misplace my things. It's a frustrating thing. You see yourself as emotionally stable. Yeah, definitely. Your mind is buzzing with unexplored and... Uh, in a way, you would not call yourself a dreamer. No. I would call myself more of a doer, not a dreamer. Because a dream is good, but unless you have a game plan, not worth it. So no, I would not say I'm a dreamer. I'd like to think like we, we dream of things, and we, I'd say I'm more of a planner. Let's say that. I'm not a dreamer. I'd like to say I'm more of a planner and a more... I have, you know, we all have dreams, but I'd like to think that I try to plan them out smoothly so that it's not just a dream. Um, you usually find it difficult to relax when taking, when talking in front of many people. Disagree for the most part. It's kind of, it, you know, t I kind of get tense when I have to talk in front of like a big crowd or anything like that. Because like, you know, stage fright, everyone kind of, you know, a lot of people have stage fright. I'm, I kind of too a tidbit, but... Once I'm warmed up, I'm fine. So no, not you know, I'm not not really. I can I can I can publicly speak pretty well. Generally speaking, you rely more on your experience than your imagination. I guess so. I mean, I think experience is a big part of life. For anything, you worry too much about what other people think. No, some of these questions are just mm, can answer them so easily. Some, some others you have to think about, but no, I couldn't care less what other people think shoot if you're worried about that i don't know what to tell you if the room is full you stay closer to the walls nah i, I like being in the middle personally personally i have to say the middle middle school yeah you have a tendency to procrastinate until there is not enough time to do everything No, not really. You feel anxious and stressful? Nah. You believe that it is more rewarding to be liked? It's somewhat important because if you're like Hitler was famous, but no, you know, he went down as a terrible human being. So I think likability should go for something. You have always been interested in unconventional. Books are, mm, to a degree. Um, you often take initiatives in social situations. Yeah, I would say so. Whoa, and here are the results. Goodness gracious. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I guessed it. I guessed it. I guessed that I, out of all... Man, did I, I said entrepreneur, right? Okay, so yeah, if you're watching this, I'm did not take this. I swear to God, I did not take this test beforehand and just repeat the same answers to get the entrepreneur result. That's crazy. I got exactly what I thought I'd be. That's crazy, man. I don't know what I, I seriously. Did not think that was going to happen. I thought it would be something completely different. Like, honestly, I was thinking to myself, okay, I, I would probably fit the entrepreneur one. But I said, but I probably won't get that. I'll probably get something else. Just because we don't, you know what I mean? We don't, I don't, oh, that's crazy. Man, I can't believe I guessed my personality type. That is insane. That actually makes me feel smart. Wow, maybe I do have an high, maybe I do, maybe I'm smarter than I think. Maybe, maybe I do have an, maybe I should test higher on an IQ. That is crazy. So yeah, here are my results right here. I'm ext extroverted, 75%. I'm observant, it says. I think about things, prospecting, 57%. Assertive, 74%. I definitely think I'm assertive. But, yep, there we are. My personality type is entrepreneur, and I guessed it from the beginning. Out of the 16 personalities that I viewed in the beginning. So, I guess I should get some bragging rights on that. 
All right, guys, until next time, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, uh, like and subscribe or whatever. And until the next time, guys, take care.